What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I thought I'd share an interesting side project that I've been working on. Now, before we get to any of this, I do want to throw out a little disclaimer. And that is that this tutorial series, it's going to be a little bit more casual, a little less structured than my other tutorial series. Even though my other tutorial series definitely were not the most formal or structured in the first place. But I just want to point this out, mostly because I... I just really been missing getting back to these tutorials where, I don't know, everything wasn't so planned out and it was more just having fun, hacking something together, building something with the community, uh, sharing stories. And yeah, I just thought it would be a little bit more enjoyable. So kind of want to get back to that. Now, with that being said, I'll go ahead and show you exactly what it is that I'm going for here. And I'll start with the problem that I was trying to solve. So check it out. So I like having plants at my apartment. I just think it, I don't know, it's cool watching something grow and overall it just feels like there's more life in my apartment. Now, the issue with that is that I'm too lazy to, <laughs> to walk the three feet over to water them each day. And I'm also a little bit worried that whenever I go on vacation that they're all gonna dry out and I'm gonna be worried that they died and yada yada, it's just too stressful. So, I was planning some kind of system that would like automate the watering process or allow me to water my plants remotely. And when I was planning all this out, I realized that if I made this architecture generic enough, then I could probably build some other cool stuff too. Almost, you know, kind of start turning my home into a smart home, uh, if you want to call it that. Uh, that's kind of a stretch given that I didn't even build anything yet, but that's kind of the background for all of this. So let me go ahead and talk about the architecture that i came up with so check it out so the basic architecture the very first thing we need is just a way that i can have two devices communicate with one another because the idea i had for that plant watering thing was something like this where whether this is a computer or a mobile phone whatever but I wanted to be able to send commands over to some Raspberry Pi is what I had in mind. And then the Raspberry Pi would be hooked up to some water bottle. The water bottle wouldn't look like this. It would probably be some kind of system that I could um, automate the watering process easier with electronic. So it won't have like a squeeze handle most likely, but I'll have to figure something out. But either way, let's get back to this. So the general architecture is I can send this Raspberry Pi commands from one of my devices and then this Raspberry Pi could water my plants and I thought it would be cool if you know I could have an app that I could do it from my desktop or maybe a mobile app as well anywhere in the world my plants would be watered problem solved okay so that is pretty cool so before just hopping right in to that though I figure I kind of want to build this up and by build it up, I mean uh, kind of building it more in bite-sized manageable pieces. So I'll kind of walk you guys through my overall plan. And if you have any feedback, then uh, I'd love to hear. But the very first thing that I'm going to be doing is really just hooking up a very basic system where I can send sample text messages back and forth between my devices. And I wouldn't even call this like a chat app, uh, more of like a simple ping pong service if you want to say that. But either way, the very first thing I'm going to be doing is just hooking up my iMac and my laptop and just seeing if I can, you know, send ping and get a Pong response back. Now, once I do that, then I can go ahead and replace this device, delete that, with this Raspberry Pi automated watering system. And then move all this around one other app id i had and by the way i'm i'm not saying that i'm going to be building all these i just want to give you some examples of the type of architecture that you know kind of show you what's possible um another cool app id i had is that well i'll explain uh kind of my thought i had is that whenever i'm like out traveling or going hiking or anything if i could just take a picture with my mobile phone and when i come back to my apartment, I could have some like digital picture frame and it would like appear there. Um, I thought that would be pretty cool. Or maybe if I 
was browsing online and find a cool picture, then I could just use some app to, you know, pretty much manage my digital picture frames for my apartment. And I'm almost certain something like this must already exist already, but you know, it's cool if we build it ourselves. So those are some app ideas that I had. If you have any more, I'd love to hear them, but uh, yeah. And now with that being said, let's pop this back open and okay. So since I'm gonna be building multiple apps and not just one, what I started doing is building out this platform called TNB OS. It's of course not an actual operating system. It's uh, actually written in Electron and React, but I thought TNB OS sounded cool. So sticking with that for now. And the purpose of this platform, I guess you could say, is really to abstract away a lot of the technical stuff. And I'm also writing a more standard API that I can use for app development, just so I don't have to write the same functions over and over and over again. And so far, the progress that I made is really, as you can see, been working on the UI, some of the project structure, uh, hooking up Redux, writing some standard components. And let me just show you the UI real quick. So the UI, what I have built right now are two, well, they're called apps in the system, but the first one is this, just the network manager. Um, I didn't want to pop this back open. So I didn't just want to make this platform where the server that I had was hard coded in because I figured if anyone else wants to use this, I don't know, maybe you want to develop your own uh, private network applications that uh, you know you could add your own. So this is what I have, kind of a network manager right here. And of course you can edit, delete it, yada, yada. And then I also have this uh, device manager. And by the way, these aren't real devices right now. Like I said, none of this is hooked up to the back end as of yet, but eventually these are gonna be real devices, pretty much add them. And then eventually later on, we're gonna be building applications that allows us to communicate with these, but really just wanna have something simple on the UI right now to verify that everything is working. And yeah, so still figuring out how to structure everything. Of course, I need quite a bit of <laughs> UI work. Um, kind of threw this UI together is uh, kind of quickly. Need to polish it up. These are like uh, pretty much the first icons that I could find. But yeah, lots of interesting challenges with using Electron in React is an operating system. And I say that in air quotes, especially whenever we're building these, I don't even know what you call them, like stateless peer-to-peer -peer remote apps, whatever you want to call this overall architecture. And yeah, it's actually, believe it or not, been pretty fun to build. The back end right now, I would say is about 96% done. It just needs some updates to the WebSocket authentication so that only the account owner can listen to their traffic. Thought it would be a little bit more secure that way. But once that's ready, gonna start hooking everything up to the front end. So shortly, all of this UI will hopefully be live and working. So looking forward to that. But yeah, that's really all I wanted to cover in this first video. If you have any thoughts on the UI, let me know. What I was thinking is that these system apps right here would probably be on the right and then all of those custom apps that we talked about, like for watering the plants, chatting, uh, managing your digital pictures, so on and so forth. I was thinking that those would be on the left. It just felt kind of intuitive that way. But uh, yeah, let me know. And also another thing that I wanna point out, I saw on Reddit that someone was making a React project that was kind of similar, like a, a React type OS kind of app and they had these windows that were movable and resizable, more like an actual operating system. Right now, these windows right here are static. You can see you can't drag them or resize them or anything, but that's another feature that I wanna work on. I think it would be, I don't know, just a little more OS-like, very cool. But yeah, overall, just thought it was a cool little side project, wanted to share it. In the next video, I'm gonna be going over the project structure but for now, I'm actually pretty hungry, so I'm probably going to go pound a few beefaronis. And on that note, I will talk to you later. See ya.